just a couple more key pieces and examples of key pieces that you maybe should keep in your closet just for like dressing up like a costume or trying to build a costume for Halloween when you don't want to buy anything and you just kind of want to shop your closet. First one I totally forgot about until I started watching some other Halloween videos and I was like, oh my god, stripes, you can do so much with them. You know, mime, Beetlejuice, Prisoner, those are just the three most obvious ones that come to my mind. Um, oh, and a sailor, depending on the stripes also. So there's that. Striped pieces like this dress or this dress or even this top are all like very versatile. Um, like this, I've used it as a prisoner. I used it in my Beetlejuice video. You could be like a mime, same with this, like prisoner, maybe Beetlejuice. I don't see this really being Beetlejuice, but like a prisoner or a mime. And this dress, again, it's, it's very versatile. And because the style of a dress it is, it could be like a 50s girl or even like a little sailor. If you had like a little sailor hat and a red scarf. Next outfit is plaids and flannels or plaid flannels just in general. Uh, like this one that I'm wearing and another one that I'm going to show you you can dress them up as so many things like you want to be a 90s grunge person or like a basic white girl or like you know scarecrows lumberjacks plaids and flannels and plaid flannels are like your best friend in those instances flannel or like a plaid which I'm also wearing a plaid flannel today. You could be like a scarecrow or a lumberjack. Um, those are some really awesome ones you could do with it. Lastly, tights and socks. I feel like these are the only accessories this year that I'm kind of going to give their own category because everybody obviously, you know, Halloween headbands and other crap like that. Obviously, you're going to, you know, if you like saving those things, great, you probably should, but you can get them pretty easily, so there's really no point. But tights and socks, you know, tights sometimes can run a bit on the expensive side, same with socks. So if you keep a couple little, like, fishnets, which I don't have a pair of, but there's a really good example. Fishnets can go for so many different costumes. Same with, like, the animal print ones that I'm going to show you and stripe, again, stripes, striped ones or skeleton socks, whatever, you know, they can go for so many different things. Another thing you can do is if you have kind of like a plain outfit, like these dressed up with like these tights or socks like this, if you hold it up to the light, it's just like an animal print kind of mesh black tights, which could go like if you're a cat or any other type of animal. Um, stripes, again, another thing of stripes. With this, I'd probably wear it with like a witch or like vampire costume or like a rave girl. And then of course, like bones anything bones or skeleton is great for halloween so if you pair this with the right stuff it would look great as a skeleton outfit